All right, still on matters farming now, over 10,000 dairy farmers in Limuru are set to benefit from a milk UH, UHT plant worth 145 million from the World Bank. This comes after a long wait from the county government of Kiambu, having delayed the procurement process. Now the World Bank has granted Limuru Dairy the privilege to be the main agent and procure the plant after interventions from the Ministry of Agriculture and National Development after Kiambu County's failure to, uh, that al almost made the farmers lose the plant. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Um, the direct beneficiaries in Limuru is 10,000 farmers, in Kiambu 100,000 farmers. We have signed a memorandum of agreement with 13 other cooperatives who will also be bringing their milk to be pasteurized here. We are expecting that we will triple the volumes once we start uh, packing the milk, which is normally goes to waste during when there is glut. We pack it into extended shelf life and UHT. And uh, we will be able to standardize. Uh, and, uh, assure the farmer that will be paying 10 shillings 50 per litre every month. That will make sure that the farmers now invest and the young farmers who have been going to towns, to urban areas to do other businesses will be attracted to do business. For some reasons, the county government has not been able to achieve that. And they were dragging their feet to a point where the middle daily was in a position where they had to use the funding from the World Bank. Through the intervention of his Excellency the President and his ministers and uh, home secretaries, it was advised that in fact the Muru Bayle be the procuring uh, uh, agent for this uh, plant because they have the capacity and they have shown that they have done similar work before. All right, on that note, we want to switch gears now and have that conversation around the role of asset management.